Hey there guys, what's happening and welcome back to our channel. The one person who once lived in his mother's basement now owns a million dollar condo. Yet another day on the internet where people blow minds. Today, it's the well-known and jolly SNL star that we know and love, Pete Davidson, who's been hanging out with his girlfriend Kim Kardashian in the state of New York. The two have been seen frequently in each other's vicinity since their appearance at Pete's show, and showing Kim Kardashian around his hometown is no coincidence. Let's explore the inside of Pete Davidson's luxury condo in Staten Island. Number 5. Interior With two bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms, the residence is situated on the water and boasts panoramic views overlooking Manhattan. Davidson got his place four years after he snagged a $1.3 million Staten Island abode in 2016 for his mom, Amy Waters. Davidson had been living in the basement of the home until December when he moved into a high-rise, but the king of Staten Island is remaining close to home and is proud of it. He's been showing Kardashian's favorite local haunts, including Angelina's Ristorante, where they pose for a photo with the owner. The walls of the entryway are painted black, while the kitchen has purple walls and numerous windows to let in natural sunlight. A spacious terrace is also included in the condo, while the residence has been updated with stainless steel appliances. The terrace can be accessed through the kitchen as well as through the master bedroom. Number 4. Confirmation During a Zoom interview posted to TikTok in April, the Saturday Night Live star revealed that he got a new place. I just moved out of my mom's house, he said as he scrambled for his keys. He added as he walked in, I'm fully out, I got a pad. The comedian likely enjoys living independently as it has given him privacy to host his new girlfriend Kim Kardashian 41. Number 3. Romantic Getaway On Monday, the Keeping Up With The Kardashians alum was spotted leaving her boyfriend's New York home after spending an entire weekend together. In a video obtained by Page Six, the Skims founder left Pete's Staten Island condo through the side door around 12.30 p.m. Eastern on Monday following their steamy weekend. She attempted to keep a low profile with a baseball hat and all-black ensemble as she made her way into a waiting SUV. Sources told the outlet that Kim was at Pete's apartment throughout the weekend. However, they claimed that the reality star also had a room at the Four Seasons Hotel in New York City's financial district. Earlier this week, the new couple's relationship escalated to the next level as it was reported that Pete introduced Kim to his mom and younger sibling Casey. According to In Touch, Amy and Casey gave their seal of approval to the unlikely couple. During the weekend, Kim and Pete also went on a movie date together at the Atrium Stadium Cinemas. Scott Disick, who shares three kids with Kim's sister Courtney, joined the couple for the movie. Their movie date was followed by a dinner, which also included champagne and a private room at Angelina's restaurant. Number 2. Previous Living Situation At the age of 26, Pete Davidson has become America's quintessential large adult son. He often jokes about living in his mom's basement, but life does imitate art. Davidson lived in the basement, while his mother lived on the upper floor of their Staten Island, New York home and Davidson's basement room looked exactly like you would imagine it does. Come along for his home tour, stay for the crusty socks under his nightstand. Davidson took the home's basement he shares with his mom as part of his new Netflix stand-up special, Pete Davidson, A Life from New York. Naturally, he can't show his living space without lighting up the devil's lettuce, so that's how the tour begins. Here goes. Davidson owns a lot of hoodies. Well, you could see them if they were arranged in some semblance of order and not haphazardly hung up and folded like Mary Kondo's worst nightmare. He shares his Guns N' Roses sweatshirt and very yellow SpongeBob t-shirt. He used to let his guests sign his wall as well. Like a guest book or a dry erase board, I'm not talking. Davidson's guests write on his actual fence. If I had done something in my room, my mother would have handed me that drywall for dinner. Also. One of the lights on his moon face neon has burnt out, which somehow makes this all feel more real. Later, we see his friends getting tattoos in his totally clean and sanitary kitchen. Number 1. Something Else Pete and Kim seeing together confirmed Pete moving out of his mom's basement and signified the end of Kim and Kanye West's relationship. 
In February, Kim's romance with Pete came after she filed for divorce from ex-husband Kanye West. Earlier this month, the TV star filed court documents to become officially single, awaiting approval from a judge. She also requested to have West dropped from her name. However, a source told People, Kanye is not giving up without a fight. Kim is the mother of his children and he's not just going to let that go. The exes share four children, including North, Saint, Chicago and Psalm. Of course, Pete needed an upgrade, which is what he got. From his mom's basement to top class Staten Island condo, which is pretty excellent if you ask us. Do let us know whether you think Pete and Kim are still an item or that you think Pete is simply a rebound guy for Kim until Kanye West comes back to her. Let us know down in the comments section below and we'll catch you guys later in another video. Bye now!